My friend says something along the lines of the first 500 times are the hardest. And that's pretty much, I mean, that's glass. I've been blowing glass for the most part for the last 23 years. I had been in school for fine arts and kind of felt bored and I came across a gallery that had blown glass in it that I'd never seen anything so organic. I took a class and was completely hooked, like instantly, and then proceeded to go to the Appalachian Center for Crafts in Tennessee for official glass blowing school. It was very isolated and not much more to do besides blow glass for me, and that was exactly what I wanted. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to blow glass, and I ended up blowing glass 12, 16 hours a day. I've done some painting, but there's nothing like glass, like the colored glass. It's like no other material on the planet. It's super cool liquid and it's transparency. You know, you, you have a piece of glass in your home and if it's getting natural light during the day, it's gonna, you're gonna have like 10 different pieces throughout the day because of the way that the light comes in and plays with it. And that just doesn't happen with many other materials out there, you know? It's just, glass is kind of magical and special. Both my hands do different things and they have to kind of talk to each other. So a lot of times I'll tell people, my students, to watch my, you know, watch my hands. Don't stare at the glass, which is so hard to, to, to not do because it's so glowy and like fantastic. I love being an open studio because that's where I found it and was given the opportunity to take a class. And I do have my students tell me you know, they're so glad I'm here because they don't know where they would go and that they have this place that they can come to and play with this stuff that's so awesome. I mean, it's like the, the coolest material ever. The material and I have, we, I, I communicate with it. It communicates with me and it's this experience that I still have with it that I treasure. I have this pretty expensive hobby that I've got going over here. And the fact that I'm still that I'm still doing it, there aren't a lot of glass blowers. It really does take like some sort of an obsession with it. I definitely feel like I have a relationship with the glass that it has been coined as my my constant in my life, you know, and I've had I, my mother passed away and the glass was still there for me, you know? And there, I've had other, just, you know, life happenings that the glass has, has allowed me a space to just immerse myself and kind of forget about other things. 